Good morning. Had that job interview yesterday. Lady says good morning, by the way. Had that job interview yesterday. I don't think it went very well. They had me, uh, they had me do an assessment on the computer before uh, the interview. And I already had my resume and whatnot, um, but they, uh, they had me do this assessment. And uh, after the assessment, uh, the first person to interview me had to print out the assessment and then they came back and got me, took me into a conference room. And she said, you have no, <laughs> you have no manufacturing experience, which is basically true. And, um, and she could tell that by, not by looking at my resume, but by um, the assessment. I scored incredibly low on the assessment. So, um, and then they basically spent an hour and a half trying to talk me out of the job. And, you know, it's really low pay, uh, awful hours. It is a union shop, so that's good. But um, it doesn't look good. And let's face it, I mean, I've never, I've never been a job type person anyway, right? It's always, uh, I've always done best when I'm self-employed and creating stuff. So I gotta figure something else out. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to make enough to live on while I'm building, um, while I'm building something that fits my personality better. <laughs> and I just noticed this tree here starting to change. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be beautiful in a few more weeks. Uh, can't wait for that. Coming up on a, on a big doe here. She's trying to eat everybody's trash. I hate that. Um, but, you know, it's not people's fault. They, they make trash and bag it up, put it out to be collected. It's not their fault that the deer come around and eat it. Hello, mama. You okay over there? Huh? You okay? What you doing? Let's see if I can get her in the shot. <laughs> there she is. Hey, mama. <laughs> um, see if I can get there. There she is. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I got to figure out how to get some bills paid while I continue to build the Dean Goes Hiking YouTube channel, DeanGoesHiking.com, and my Redbubble store. Um, if you haven't checked those out, please do. Uh, that is the future. <laughs> Sounded like a growl, but it's it was... Uh, she pulled a bag out of the trash. Um, that is the future of my business. Those those three things right there. Dean Goes Hiking YouTube channel, DeanGoesHiking.com, and the Red Bubble Store. That's that's how uh, that's how I'm going to be able to make a living long term. Uh, but for now, I got to figure something else out. And it's at this point where things are getting really tight and um, it looks uh, it looks really bad like I'm about to get stuff shut off and whatnot it's at this point that I usually start to get really depressed and tighten up and don't want to get out of bed and all of that stuff so I am making sure that I have tons of action to take and uh, I have I have a big list right now so um, and that actually motivates me, uh, especially when I have a big list and, um, and I've got it organized. So uh, I've got things scheduled, have to have this done by this date, uh, I want this done by that date, uh, and time, etc. That's incredibly helpful to me um, I, with my mental state, with my mental and emotional uh, health those things are really those things are really helpful to me I've got another dog walker uh, up ahead of me so I need to stop let them go by uh, 
what do you do when things start to get um, when things start to get tight when they start to uh, get a little overwhelming and it looks like um, well thing it looks like things are about to go really bad for you what do you do to uh, keep yourself motivated to keep yourself um, pumped up and taking action not I hate that word pumped up uh, <laughs> Uh, what do you do to keep yourself motivated and taking a action in the right direction and uh, and avoiding the uh, you know you get the fight flight or freeze how do you avoid the freeze um, in these in these types of situations I want to know um, maybe I can uh, apply something that I haven't been applying but um, Lady and I are about finished with our morning walk. So I hope everybody has a great day. And tomorrow, I'm going to tell you the latest bear story. <laughs> Have a great day.